today I'm continuing my Resident Evil franchise Platinum journey, and the next two are the remakes of Resident Evil 2 and 3. Now, you guys may not know a lot about me, but there's one thing I can assure you. I am not scared of horror games. I am a man, I keep my feelings to myself, I never scream. Ever. <clears throat> anyway. The first game we're starting with, of course, is RE2 Remake, and I have a bit of a sweet spot for this game. I played the original on the PS1, not back in 1998, I'm not that old, but I did play it on the PS1, and I remember having, like, the both discs, one for Claire and Leon, so, like, it does have, like, a bit of a nostalgia, even though I could never get past the beginning, like, where the car crashes, so I apologize if I'm, like, super excited when I'm playing it, because I was just having a good time, I was enjoying it, but anyway, let's get started. So, we have the option to pick which character we want to play as first between Leon and Claire, and obviously, I went with a GOAT rookie, but shortly after doing the intro sequence, we got the first trophy in the game. Oh, shit, here we are. The Mizoil Gas Station. Coffee hamburgers. Wait, who, who makes it? Wheaties burgers? Oh, meaty bur Meaties burgers. This place. Whoa! Hold on. Look away, guys. Look away. I'm going to take a sneak peek while Dylan, future Dylan cuts the video. Dude, I've been playing so much Tears of the Kingdom. I keep thinking circle is to select, not X. It's fucking with my brain. Dude, you're still alive? Oh, welcome to the city of the dead. First trophy. Make it to the police station. Yeah, how does that sound, bitches? So I continued moseying around the police station for a little while, you know, just doing puzzles and getting scared and whatnot, until I got my next trophy that requires me to board up a window. Dude, I can only imagine the smell. Like, actually, it has got to smell horrid in here. You are a bigger man than me, Leon. If I just got a whiff of this, I'm running the other way, I'm leaving the police station, and I'm letting one of them, them zombies bite me and kill me. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Shut the fuck up, man. I'm coming. I'm scared. I'm gonna get the fuck out now. Oh, shit. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh! Yeah, dude. Suck it! Whoa, there's more. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm running. I'm getting out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Fuck you, dude. Wait. I need a fuse. Oh, god damn it. How are you still alive? Damn. <laughs> Trying to get some, like, sun chips or something? I don't know. Is that Are those beans? Oh, no. <laughs> Coffee grounds, okay. I'm... Whoa! Wooden board. Oh, I so I could use that to board up the window, right? Yeah! I don't think that'll hold them, but I mean... What? I heard that. The next couple of trophies are some really simple ones, like a bunch of collectibles and then open a safe, get a hit pouch, combine medicine. It's really easy. But there's one trophy that introduced me to an enemy I never want to see again. Bitches here. Oh yeah, you are! I'm running. I'm running. Mm, mm. How does that crate taste? Biatch. I don't like this spot. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like it at all. Shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. I don't guess anymore. I know I'm going to need it. What do I do? Lord. Guide my bullets with true intent to kill. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to get into that star's door right to the left of me. Oh, stop squeaking. Just inch your way towards Leon. Fearless warrior. More shotgun rounds. Oh, that's what I like to see. Look at that. It's definitely not four, but I'll take it. Oh, and a first aid spray. You're treating me too good, game. What's happening? What's gonna happen? Where I gotta I gotta use all that? I can throw a mean spiral. 
Oh! Fearless warrior. Fearless warrior. Eat that bitch! Yeah! Oh, don't lick me. Oh, dude, I handled that with such brimming confidence. I'm surprised it didn't shine off me. So this portion of the game has you walking around the whole police station, finding these medallions and putting it in the center of the police station. So I did that puzzle unlocking the trophy Path to a Goddess. Path to the Goddess. Fuck yes. Then after diving deeper in the Raccoon City police station, we meet our first boss. And shortly after that, we meet another enemy I never want to see again, while also getting a trophy called Hats Off. Holy shit! What in the world happened to your arm? How did you even fit through that doorway? Hey man, I'm sorry I didn't post a money spread. I just didn't have that much. Damn, okay, you are on a mission. I apologize for doubting you earlier. There we go. Damn, I was going in. Oh, got that. Damn. Need a key card. Oh, are you fucking serious? Just get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude, his eyeball. That was fucking nasty. What the fuck does this do? This wasn't even a problem, like, to begin with. Damn it, I just put all the herbs away, man. I don't need it. What the hell? Okay. That, that. Jesus Christ. Um, I, where do I go? Everywhere is a dead end. Um, um. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> I got a trophy. Uh, uh, I'm running. Get juked. Get juked. Get the hell out of here. What the hell do you want with me, dude? Where did you come from? After getting pounded into next week, we finally make it out of the police station. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I just <laughs> re-listened to what I said. That sounds crazy. Anyway, we get the trophy for escaping the police station. Now I got that thing chasing me, and it could just show up. Damn, you died in a funky position. It can just show up whenever, wherever, unannounced. Oh my god. The Deagle. <laughs> Dude, I hear him right behind me. Oh my god, look at him, look at him. Oh, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Get the hell out of here. You cannot touch me. I do not allow this. What are they after? I fucking knew it. Oh, hell yeah. Ha <laughs> suckers. Oh, -ho -ho! oh my god. Um suck this. Polygon dick. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we're good. Have I gotten everything collectible-wise? So far, I think so. I think we're good. Wait, never ending. Oh, escape the police station. Finally, I'm done with this shitty place. After escaping the police station, we go down to the sewers, which actually has a gameplay switch where we play as Ada instead of Leon. And there's a trophy related to this segment where you have to use her EMF visualizer the whole time without shooting your gun. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad. Oh my god, is that an upgrade for my shotgun? Long barrel. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at this bad boy now. He's packing some heat. Oh my god. Dude, just run! Yeah, run! What are you doing? You idiots. Okay, man. Boom. Wow. Alright. So, this part, I have to play as Ada. 
and I have to do this whole segment of Ada's without using my gun. So I'm just gonna unequip it entirely. Persistent bastard, aren't you? Wait, what? Holy shit! Oh god. Oh no, I gotta go all the way back. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Oh, you son of a bitch. Go. All right. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, here's the typewriter. I'm gonna... I haven't fired a shot yet, but I'm going to now. To get this Mr. Raccoon. Okay. Now I'm gonna load. Load this back. And we should be good. Yeah, I did it. Use only the EMF visualizer to complete Ada's gameplay segment. Oh. And, oh, and complete Ada's segment. Sweet! Just after that, I got a trophy for unlocking all safes and locks in the game. Boom! Master of unlocking! Hell yeah. Oh, this is a sweet-ass upgrade, too. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, it is looking voluptuous now. So as I was exploring the sewers, I ran into a room where there was a film roll. And to see what this film roll contained, I needed to go back up to the police station into the dark room. So thankfully, there's a hidden elevator leading back up to the police station through the sewers. So I went up there and got the trophy Treasure Hunter. Alright, we're going down. What's the worst that can happen? This place just only looks like a giant cyst. Dude, what the fuck is that? Dude, it looks like brains. Oh! Uh, yeah, I've got nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, just kidding. Where'd I get that from? I don't remember having that. Huh? Jesus. Burn! Okay, I think that just made it more dangerous. Yeah, I need one to, like, leap at me, and I gotta shoot it midair. Okay, wow. That thing sprinted towards me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> like skeet shooting? What the hell is skeet shooting? Okay, Star's office. Okay, there's a secret in here. And I think it's in here behind the desk. Yeah, there it is. Wooden box. Fuel 400. Ooh, treasure hunter. Using the photo hints, find two hidden items. That was really easy. I have gotten all missable trophies. In the area. Well, missable as in... Well, missable. I don't really know how to explain it. There are a couple... Oh! Jesus Christ. There's the other missable one. <laughs> oh my God. After I did everything at the police station, I went back down to the sewers, where I then fought my second boss, but there's a catch. See, during the boss fight, there's an option to use a crane to deal extra damage to the boss, but if you're trying to go for the trophy, you have to do enough damage to him where you can only use the crane once to kill him at the end. So I did that. All right, man, let's just get out of the sewers. I hate it in here. It's so disgusting. Like, everywhere I turn, there's some sort of mold or grease or fucking goo just want to get out of here man oh you know what i'll be fine i don't need heals one is good enough i'll be fine all right ada i'm coming Whoa! Jesus Christ. um uh there's no way out what am i supposed to do oh man it's just like uh Interactive smoke or something. I just randomly started coughing. Can we please get out of here? Now I got you. Please, please, just let this be it. Get whacked with this crane, dude. Come on. You know you want it. Bam! Let's go. Gotcha, bitch. Upon deleting that boss, we finally leave the sewers, which takes us to our last area in the game, the nest, or the laboratory or something like that, where we get to finally expand our inventory slots to the max. Oh my god, they're all up. Oh! 
Oh my god. Dude, stop it. Oh, I got zombie roundup on complete accident. Kill three enemies at once. Oh, okay, that was just with my grenade then. Oh, son of a bitch. There's another one! I'm running. I'm out of here. Yep. Get me the hell on out of here. I'm good. I'm all right. Yeah, I'll pass. Just give me this. Give me the wristband. There we go. Upgrade. Level three. Hell yeah. What? Wait, I hear those. Whoa! Him again? No, how do you, how are you guys alive? This doesn't make any sense. <gasps> the final inventory upgrade. Yeah, waste of space. I get the joke and it's not funny. Next up, we have the final boss in the game. Like the last boss I fought, there's another trophy tied to this one. There's a detonation countdown on the screen, and the trophy tells us to have more than five extra minutes on the screen after the boss is defeated, giving us the trophy in the blink of an eye. I also get another trophy for beating the game as Leon. Dude, I forgot about the tyrants. Oh, he, he fucked with my head there. I thought he was just gonna walk through the glass, or like walk by the glass. But now this dude fucking right hooked it and broke it and just jumped out. There's a typewriter and an item box right here. But literally just across the room, there's another one. Um, yeah, I don't like the sound of this, man. I have officially collected everything for Leon's campaign. All, right. all Mr. Raccoons, all files, all fucking stupid things. All that is done. Now I just gotta play the game. And get scurred. A little scurred. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do I do? Woohoo! Shit! Okay! Damn! Calm down and just look at me! Okay, he's leaping. Bro is leaping. Woohoo! I can legitimately only hit his fucking stomach. There we go, dude. Jesus Christ. Let's get the hell out of here. I got nine minutes? Oh, that's all I need. That's all I need, baby. Going down, going down. This music's so intense. Long ass ladder, dude. Straight up. Whoa! Uh, dude. Uh, I need all the ammo I can get because I think I'm a, I'm about to be fighting some. Uh... Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm surprised you have a heart. Oh my God! Just fuck off. I really wish there was a dodge in this game. Oh my God! That was so close. Okay! Chill out! Oh boy. Pick it up. Ada! She came back! <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Stop. This is it! Bam! Oh wait. A the blink of the eye. Defeat Tyrant with five plus minutes left. Yes! Let's go! Oh man, that was that was intense. That that was intense as hell. Hop on! Damn, this is some some uncharted shit now. Oh, a hero emerges. Fuck yes, complete Leon story. All right, I got all collectibles for Leon, so I'm just gonna start Claire and finish up her collectibles unassisted as well. So I start Claire's scenario A playthrough, which is basically just the same playthrough as Leon with a couple things twisted in there. 
When I started this playthrough, I had one goal in mind, and that was to get all the files, but then I decided to go for a small carbon footprint in Frugalist, which is to take 1400 steps or fewer in one playthrough and complete the game without healing once. So essentially, I speed ran the game on assisted to kind of get me comfortable with standard, but that's just a heads up. We're not going to get those trophies right now. I was just letting you know what I was doing. Anyway, the first trophy we get in Claire's playthrough is Young Escapee. Like Leon's campaign, there's a section where you have to play as a different character. In this section, we play as Sherry, and we have to escape her bedroom within 60 seconds. All right, Claire A playthrough. This is just to finish up collectibles. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play through the whole thing. I'm just gonna get to the point where I've got all the collectibles in the game that I need. And then quit from there. Unless I'm close enough to just beat the game, then I will do it. I'm also gonna be using infinite weapons just to make this faster because I've already played this part, or this scenario. I've already done the A scenario. So it's just the same as Leon's, just with Claire. So it's gonna be pointless. Okay, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, that was so fast. Holy shit, I'm a beast. Come on. Dude, that was so quick. I'm a god. Get the fuck out, get the fuck out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Hell yeah. Oh, good luck. You know, vault over that old man. Get the hell out of here. Get out. I'm gone, dude. Dusted. You cannot catch me, old man. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so clean with it. Oh. Hide and seek. Let's go. The next trophy I earned was way, way, way later in the game. It's called With Time to Spare, and we need to defeat 4G with four plus minutes left until detonation. Kind of like the tyrant in Leon's playthrough. It's the final boss of the game. We just have to defeat it in a set amount of time. And with the rocket launcher, it was a breeze. Whoa. I will literally just sit here and spam. There we go. With Time to Spare. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of trophies, I, I think. After defeating the final boss, we got really close to the end, and I earned the two trophies I mentioned earlier that I was going for, and a hero wine emerges, completing Claire's story. Whoa, beat the game, dude. We had, I had less than 1,400 steps, I didn't heal once, and I beat Claire's campaign. I didn't do Route B. I'm gonna do Route B in a second. Um, that one, uh also unlocks a trophy to get the true ending i gotta do claire's route b but first we're gonna do leon's a hero wine emerges Beat it in an hour and a half it's not bad frugalist i didn't heal sweet should begin one more trophy yes a small carbon footprint oh man all right dude i can speed run this game this is easy so right after I beat Claire's campaign, I started up another playthrough on Leon's B scenario, getting the two new files that spawned in that scenario, and also going for the S rank. I still haven't read all files yet because I need to do Claire's scenario B, but we did get two trophies upon completing the campaign, which is Leon S. Kennedy, completely on story on standard or hardcore with an S rank, and witness the true ending. Holy shit! Okay, um, wow, we did not expect that. <laughs> okay, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we gotta move. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cut through the west office. And then, uh, book it to the main hall. And put all these medallions in. And then go into the sewer. I, th I think that's, that's the plan. That's the plan right now. Okay, I put the jack down. I move one right. And the rest... No, I, I move one left and move the rest right. Oh, man. I didn't get it before. I'm going to have to go the long way then. Which means I'm going to have to go through... I don't even think I got that one either. 
I'm going to go through reception. I shouldn't have backtracked then. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. Oh! Okay. I knew that was going to be there. <laughs> Look at that buffoon. I got to go that way. <laughs> I'm the buffoon. No. Am I being stupid? Am I being a dumb idiot? Oh my god. Okay, dude. I did not know you could do that. That's it, Ada. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. I'm literally crazy. Go! Oh my god. Oh, I think this is the true ending part, actually. I don't remember this. What's going on here? Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, dude, this is like straight out of Resident Evil 7. Eat, eat, eat this rocket, bro. Eat this other rocket. Yeah, literally, dude. Just die. Yes! There we go. There we go. Oh, that was sweet. There we go. <laughs> it's done. Let's skip this because I don't care. Leon S. Kennedy. Zero saves. I didn't save once. And Broken Umbrella, witness the true ending. So after beating the campaign three times in one day, I kind of wanted a break, so I did the fourth survivor extra mode. And man, I thought it was going to be easy, but but it wasn't playing no games. But through sheer perseverance, I got it. Okay, I gotta stick to the right side. Just like that, boom. Holy shit. That was so close. I, I don't know what to do. Oh, that one hits me. Oh. Oh my god. I was getting ready to run. Are you kidding me? Dude, he had a three piece on me. Oh shit. Wait, Mr. X kind of helped me a little bit. Oh my god, I think this is it. Where do I go? Oh, oh. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes! Let's go, dude. Let's go. My god, that was stressful. After beating the fourth survivor game mode, I decided to go back to Claire's playthrough and S rank scenario B while also getting the last collectible trophies I needed along the way. All right. Now we're on to Claire's second story. The only reason I need to do this is to finish up the lore explorer trophy. Um, I'm missing two files and also I have to go back and I'm missing one Mr. Raccoon and I think it's in Claire's playthrough like I'm 99% sure and I think I also know the area where I missed it so I'm hoping that's the one. So we're going to get these two trophies and I'm also going to go for the speed running trophy as well, the S rank. I'm just going to use infinite weapons, it's going to be really easy. Okay, here's our last uh, Mr. Raccoon, here's the- whoa, hold up. I missed it apparently. I, I remember in the video though, I shot a rocket at this. I guess I was just too distracted. There we go. <laughs> Complete vermin extermination. Fuck yeah. Last file should be up here. If I did actually get them all, which I'm pretty sure I did. Last time I checked, I was 56 out of 58. And I got the one needed for Claire back at the police station in the star's office so I mean I should be at 57 so it should be the last one right here yeah lore explorer <laughs> show no mercy that's right that's right I'm skipping this because I've already seen it and I'm done man I'm done Sizzling Scarlet Hero, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's an hour and 14 minutes. Oh, that's me stretching, by the way. Because I sat here. 
and didn't stop. Three more trophies left and three more playthroughs. After S-ranking Claire's story, I decided to go straight into Leon's hardcore story. And once again, the difficulty was a breeze. It was just kind of boring because I was using the infinite rocket launcher the whole time. I cannot believe I'm about to beat the game without finding a single hip pouch. That has got to be some awful luck. All right. Hardcore is done. How do I feel about the game since I played it for the fifth time? Uh, I feel pretty good actually, you know. Uh, hopes are high. I can I can platinum this. I can definitely do it. Want to get this over with. Hardcore rookie. Completely on stir on hardcore. Dude, and I got the S rank. Get out of here. And then I did the exact same thing with Claire. Yes! Skip it all. Skip it all. I don't care. I don't care, dude. Skip it all. Hardcore college student. Holy shit. And I decided to leave Minimalist for the last trophy. I don't really know why I did. I think because Hardcore and going for the S rank was so much of the same thing. I just wanted the end to be different. With Minimalist, you can't open your item box during the whole playthrough. So you can't use infinite weapons. Which I'm not going to lie was a nice switch up. So here's me getting the Minimalist trophy and the Platinum. One more trophy left. Minimalist beat the whole game without opening the item box once. That's all I have to do, and then the platinum is mine. The strat for this is any key item I get, I have to fully use it until I get the little check mark on my inventory, and I can just discard it from my uh, uh, thing. Also, hip pouches. That's going to be key in this run as well. Oh! Okay, dude. The footsteps should have been much louder. Much louder. Oh! Okay, 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 dude. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh! Oh, this is just not good. Th this is just not... This just sucks. I'm leaving. Woohoo! Get out of here. Oh! I'm taking this. I'm healing. Oh my god. I'm insane. I'm insane. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Let me let me check just in case. I've opened it zero, zero times. Zilch. Oh my god, dude. I thought it was gunpowder. Oh, I have to go to the other half of the map again. God damn it, dude. Oh, screw this area. Last club key spots in the records room, so that's where we're gonna go. Whoa! Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Equip, equip, equip. Stop it. Bam! No! 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 Bam! Yes! We're good. We're good. This is the final boss. The final boss right here. Don't open. I don't need that. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's check the records real quick. Okay, I have not opened the item box once. Keep taking them! I've never actually beat this boss, like, legitimately. Well, legitimate. I've never beat it with a, with a normal weapon that wasn't infinite. Boom! 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 Yes! This is it! This is it! This is it! This is it! Don't care. Skipping. Skipping. I've already seen it. I've already seen it. I've already seen it. Yes! Minimalist! Give it! Give it! Give it! Raccoon City native! It's over. Thank God. 
Oh, new milestone reach? Cool. Now we move on to RE3, which I actually have previously played before like two years ago, but I never beat it. So I already have a few of the story trophies unlocked, but you know, it's been like two damn years, so I don't really remember the game that much. So the first trophy I actually earned this playthrough was called Power Stones, and I need to place all jewels in the Clock Tower Monument. We're not going to do Inferno just yet. I'm going to stick to Assisted, try to at least remember the game. Get all the collectibles and then i'm pretty sure i want to go straight for inferno <laughs> but, but i don't know if i really i don't know if like deep down i really want to do that though i don't know we'll see but right now we're going to do assisted dude my game is so goddamn loud right now hello Jill, are, you, are you okay brad is that like you? actually i think i need I to turn it down Let me grab my holy shit Okay, I need to turn it down some more. Hey, what do you got, man? What's on you? Is that a box containing a lockpick? That would be pretty... What the fuck? That'd be pretty dope. Haha, <laughs> look at these losers. Actual posers, man. They can't do anything. Alright, we're about to put the final jewel in the clock tower. Thing. So that is pretty sweet, actually. I wonder what we get. I have no idea what we get. I hope. I kind of hope it's a hip pouch. That'd be dope. Done. Oh, it is a hip pouch. Sweet. Yeah, power stones. So we play through quite a bit more of the game before we get our next trophy. We actually switched to Carlos this time, and he's legit so badass. But here's me getting the trophy. I need a hero. That's dope. That's dope. Holy shit! Um, uh, uh, uh. All right. Wow. Did not expect that. Oh, dude, I'm about to zap your ass. Never mind. You're incredibly fast. Okay. Where do I have to go? I have to go through the donut. Okay, that is crazy ass superhero landing you just did. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh! Okay. You got that speed on you. I get it. I get it. See, so you, you gotta sit and wonder what line is crossed. Okay! What line gets crossed? in the in this universe like wh what is crossing the line because fighting giant sperm monsters in a sewer is pretty far past my line like i'll just let nemesis pick me up by the head and just crush it i don't even care sorry i do not have that drive oh dude i just dinked him i want that i want that that was a mistake oh no it wasn't oh my god Man, I have a fear of going up ladders. Every time I do something bad happens. Or something bad is going to happen shortly after. Oh, surely nothing will happen once I cross that bridge. Oh, holy shit, that thing got huge. What the hell? Why is... The FOV so close. I want to see my surroundings. Oh my lord. Should I even bother using anything else? Oh. God damn it. That, that, oh my god. Why did I do those three actions? I missed... I missed two rounds. You know what? You guys saw it. Why am I even explaining? Oh, dude! I'm so good! Oh, what the hell? Wait. This... Okay, that's not the thing from RE4. What the fuck is that? A, a crab lizard? A, what is this thing? Okay, so, like, I actually hate this. But I have a game plan. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Shortcut this. I'm going to throw a flashbang in and instantly throw a grenade. We ready? 
We're not ready. We're not ready. I'm not ready. How much damage should they- Oh! I didn't know you could open that. Don't hurt me. Okay. I'm a man. I'm a man. I can do this. Why the hell are they, are they exploding? They're just imp I mean, actually, it's kind of helpful because then I know they're not faking their deaths. Okay, th there's a lot. Th there's a lot in here. I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. Am I doing it? Is it over? Oh, I think that's it. Okay, never mind. I need a hero. Withstand the zombie siege. After that, basically right next to each other, I got all the safes, lockers, and strong boxes unlocked and all the weapons in the campaign. Therefore, unlocking two trophies. Oh my god, it is. It is the last lock. Thank god I didn't miss any- WHOA! Alright, this is it. This is the last one. I've looted everything else. Let's go! Master of unlocking. Mag ammo? I don't have a magnum. Gimme it. Gimme it. Oh, look at that. Looks so sweet. Let's go. Kendo's Armory. Didn't even know that was a trophy. Oh, collect all weapons. Sweet. I have too many weapons now. So, I failed to mention I was also going for the minimalist trophy in this game too. It honestly really wasn't that bad because since I was going for all the collectibles, I needed to use all the key items anyway to discard them, so I had plenty of room for the most part. The next trophy I got was to defeat stage 2 Nemesis. And let me tell you, on assisted, he whooped me. But here's me getting the trophy. Let's go, my boy Ty! Tyrell! Am I walking so slow? Come on, we got a vaccine to get. All right, let's get this done. Let's fucking do this shit. Jill looks too badass. Oh my god, he's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna keep that save there because there's a trophy tied to that area, and I don't want to go all the way back through the game to just miss it again. So I'm gonna keep that save there. This will be our new one. Okay, well, this was supposed to be my last uh, Charlie doll, but I missed. Actually, I missed two. I just found out, and I don't. I know where the first one is because it's the very first Charlie doll, and it it's uh, missable. Like you can't go back and get it. So I have this one, and then the first one, and then some other one. I don't know what it is, but I'm at to look for them all again, which is gonna blow. But this is supposedly supposed to be the last one, but it's it's not, because I'm an idiot. Oh. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that one. That I that is so lucky that I remembered or that I just ran into it. Okay, now I actually am missing one and it's the uh one in the very beginning. Suspending the gamer app in 5 minutes. Whoa. Okay, I gotta hurry this up real quick, and I gotta I gotta get to a save. Why is why can't it renew my man? I hate digital games. I hate that you don't actually own it. Some fucking bullshit. Can't play it offline. Paid full price for it. Oh man. Oh, I didn't want to fight you again. Oh, dude, I couldn't move. Whoa! Jesus, where did you come from? Oh, dude, clean dodge, clean dodge. Nice, 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 nice. Just keep avoiding him. Okay, well, I didn't expect him to do that. Alright, he's going crazy. Holy shit. I'm on my last edge too, man. Really? Dude, I'm dead. Like, I'm screwed. Dude, I, I don't know what to do. Dude, I pressed R1. I pressed R1. Dude, that's not hitting me. This is the worst fight. Easily. 
Yes! Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god. That was awful. Nemesis down question mark. Question mark? Question mark. Why is the question mark there? So after the second Nemesis fight, literally right after is the third and final fight, which is literally amazing. So here's me getting the trophy, Nemesis down, Bookworm, Minimalist, and Survivor. This isn't over. I have a one heal, and I'm fucked. Oh my god, that's Nemesis. I just fought him. Literally in the last room. <laughs> Why is the boss audio so quiet? Uh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Holy shit! Eat this! Boom! Oh my god, I have to push those in, don't I? Oh, oh, thank god. Oh, come on. Grab it, grab it, grab it! Come here, boy. Fire! Boom! Oh, that was sick. That was dope. Oh, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, damn. Dude, you're like Moses, you just parted his sea. Oh, th that was it? Oh my god, Nemesis down, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. The final file is up here. My last one. All 58 or 59, right here. If I can grab it, fucking pick it up. Suspicious contract memo. I don't give a damn. Bookworm! Let's go. One step closer to the platinum. What the hell was that? Survivor? Complete the game on standard? And minimalist. Complete the game without opening the item box. That saves us a, a playthrough, which is nice. So there was a portion of the game where you have to gather all these fuses in a warehouse, but there's a trophy tied to it that I couldn't get before, but I can now. This trophy is to gather all the fuses within five minutes. I'm just basically gonna equip this. I'm gonna run out and do the fuses in five minutes. Just get it done really quick. I, I know the path for the most part, so I just have to execute it. Oh, that's it! Electric slide! Gather all the fuses in the warehouse within five minutes. I mentioned earlier that I was missing one Charlie doll and it was the very beginning of the game, so I started a new game with the intention to speedrun it and get an S rank and not heal. Before I did any of that, I got the last Charlie doll. Last Charlie doll is up here, the one that I missed. No wonder, I literally just missed it again. And I was hey, looking you know for it. Monster? It's right here. Boom! Goodbye, Charlie. After playing through the whole game again, I got three more trophies. Another sh shit to skip. Sensational work. Oh, complete the game with an S rank. Sprinter. Yeah, complete the game in under two hours. Frugalist. Yeah, that's, yeah. Complete the game with one or fewer. Oh, I didn't know you could use one. One time. Saved. <laughs> Zero deaths. One hour. That was just assisted, though. I only needed... Five more trophies. And most of them were difficulty trophies that stacked. Except one. And that is to beat the game with an S rank on Inferno. So I decided to put on my big boy pants, play Inferno, no other difficulty, and get that S rank. So here's me earning four trophies in the Platinum. Like, RE2 was simple. It had assisted, standard, and hardcore. No, this has... Assisted, standard, hardcore, nightmare, and inferno. Like, you could, you don't have to do that, Capcom. Oh, okay! Alright. Nope. Uh. Awesome. 
Never mind. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Go! Okay. That is like the only part I was super worried about dying over and over again on. I just, I didn't know the dodge window. <clears throat> like the, how much time I had. Oh, I knew it! Come on! Oh my god! I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, huh, I wonder if they switched up enemy spawns at all. Oh! Dude! He's so fast! Dude, you are insane. You are actually in- WHAT?! That's insane. Dude, it's raining zombies. What is going on? OH! Dude! That- that- that guy came from nowhere. Oh. My lord. Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me! Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. One more time! Boom! Alright. All right, all right. I guess three are gonna mess up. I don't know if it changes. I think it's still three though. It's not. It is three. Okay, dope. Okay, dope. Okay, dope. <laughs> okay, really? <laughs> okay, I just have to do it one more time. One more time. I have to stagger him. Oh shit! Get it in there. Just get it in there. Oh damn it! No. No, 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 Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. God. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, dude, he waits. He's like the nameless king on Dark Souls. He, like... His movement, like, tricks you. He'll go, like, in full force for a swing and then stop, let you dodge, and then hit you. That's, that's just what he does. He's an asshole. And this is the nameless king of Resident Evil. Yes! Let's go! Do it. Do it. Come on! Dude. Dude. <laughs> One last time. One last time, walk up, come on. Come on. Come on! Let's! Let's! Go! S rank, done. Nightmare, done. Inferno, done. Hardcore, done. I have one more thing to do. And that's to shoot Nikolai. That's it. If I mess that up, oh man. You guys won't ever see my. You won't ever see this channel again. Best believe. Boom! Oh yeah, stupid. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. Dominator? What's that? Complete the game on Inferno. Jill Valentine, complete the game with an S rank on Inferno. Conqueror, complete the game on Nightmare or Higher. Veteran complete the game on hardcore or higher. And the platinum! So long, RC. Just like that, we have five more games left in the Resident Evil franchise platinum. If you don't know, I'm also counting Code Veronica because that does have a platinum as well. But that does wrap up this video. If you guys have any suggestions for games you want me to platinum, just let me know down in the comments below. I will 100% check them out, but right now I got some games lined up y'all ain't ready for. It's, it's one word, ambitious. But I'm not pulling too far down that curtain just yet. Seriously, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm signing off. I need a break from Resident Evil.